Are you from another country and follow chefs and pastry chefs from Sweden? Then you might be wondering, what the heck is this semla? Well, this episode is definitely for you. What's up? My name is Seb Peterson and I am a pastry chef and content creator, food photographer, you name it, from Sweden. I know it's been a lot about food photography and camera gear and bags and all of that and you missed the pastry part. So have I. So today we're gonna talk about pastries. We're gonna dig deep into the absolute most Swedish pastry of all time. The one that just eats up and completely take over all of our Instagram feeds. The big money cave for all Swedish pastry shops. And the absolute most overestimated simple thing. The semla. So the stories and the proud of this pastry has just grown bigger and bigger through the years. We even judge people of how they eat their semla. Do you start with the lid? Do you save the lid until the end as a trophy? Or do you use the lid to eat some of the cream? We've also started to make millions of versions of the semla. There's licorice semla, there's raspberry semla, there's vanilla semla, there's cronut semla, there's donut semla. And it just keeps on growing. There's so much hype from December until February about one simple pastry. But in my opinion, just stick to the basics. So what is this fluffy little cream creation? Well, it's basic. The semla consists of three basic elements. A soft baked cinnamon bun, which we in Sweden attempt to use in all of the bakery creations. Almond paste made out of almonds and sugar. And soft whipped cream. Soft whipped. You got it? So three basic elements, but a lot could go wrong. The main mistakes that a lot of chefs do out there is to whip that cream way over soft peaks. So, you know, you get that grainy texture. Disgusting. And the second is that a lot of chefs out there don't use quality fine almonds. You know that taste of crappy almonds without any roasting kind of flavors? No. Please don't. Do you want to know a pro tip? Well, it, it's, it's not a pro tip, it's the accurate way of making it. So the actual lid is made by cutting a hole into the semla with a scissor. I've seen a lot of chefs doing the lids nice and proper, but then they suddenly use something to dig out into the semla itself to find a way to fill their fillings. No. No, you're wrong. Just simple use a scissor and point it downwards to the semla and you will find the lid looking like this. That actually digs out the semla but you don't need to waste any of the bun itself. So I hope this explains some of your concern of this viral pastry. Subscribe to the channel and find out more about pastries, food and photography in combined. That's it for me. I'll see you in the next one. Don't you dare judge me of how I eat my semla. Don't you dare to. A little bit of lid, a little bit of cream. <laughs>